I'm being asked to integrate this vector valued function. Let's go ahead and work it out. We'll start by breaking it up. So this is the antiderivative of secant squared 3t dt i plus the antiderivative of the square root of t dt j and then plus the antiderivative of e to the t over 1 plus e to the 2t dt k. And then we'll just integrate each piece separately. So for the first piece, we can make a substitution. We can let u be equal to 3t. So then du is equal to 3 dt. And we don't have a 3 here in the integrand, so we'll divide both sides by 3. And so du over 3 is equal to dt. The second piece, we'll rewrite this as t to the 1 half, the next step. That way we can use the power rule. For this piece here, think of it as e to the t over 1 plus e to the t quantity squared. And so what we'll do is we'll let u be equal to e to the t so that du is e to the t dt. And that's exactly what we have in the numerator. And then we'll use the arctan formula. Let's keep going. So rewriting what we have, this becomes 1 third the antiderivative of secant squared u du and then we still have the i right we pulled out the one third plus the antiderivative of t to the one half dt and we still have the j and then plus the antiderivative of du over one plus well, that's our u, so it's going to be u squared, right? And du is all of this. And then here we have the k. Let's keep going. So the antiderivative of secant squared, if you ever forget what it is, just ask yourself, what is a function whose derivative is secant squared? Well, tangent. So this will be one-third tangent of u, but u was 3t, so tangent of 3t plus our arbitrary constant, which we'll call c sub 1. And this is times i. Plus, here, we'll add 1, so we'll get 3 halves. So we get t to the 3 halves. And then we have to divide by 3 halves. So instead of doing that, let's multiply by the reciprocal. So 2 thirds plus c sub 2. And we still have the j. And this is going to be arctan of u but u was e to the t. So this is arctan of e to the t plus c sub 3. And here we have the k. To finish, we can write the final answer as follows. This is 1 third tangent 3t i plus 2 thirds t to the 3 halves j plus the arctan of e to the 3t, e to the t, sorry, <laughs> k, where's the 3? And looks like we can combine the c's. And so c will be c1i, c2j, and then C3K, so plus C3K. And that is the final answer. I hope this helps.